So you give given compost a try, but the results haven't been what you wanted. The bin just doesn't work. So let's explore some of the reasons why that compost bin may not be breaking down quite as rapidly as you were hoping for. There's several problems that can go wrong. Here's the first one, too dry. For composting, really the function at a rapid rate, the materials in the bin almost need to be the moisture of a wet sponge. So if your bin's not operating, try adding water. If you get in there, turn it, it's all dry, fluffy, then add water. That should give your compost bin a kickstart. Another problem we have with compost bins are we don't have enough greens. Most of us as homeowners, we have plenty of leaves, dry material, but we don't have the greens. That's the nitrogen source that feed the microorganisms in the compost bin. So what can we do? Well, we can get more greens. A lot of coffee shops will give away coffee grounds. They're an excellent source of nitrogen. Visit your local beautician. Hair is an excellent source of nitrogen. Also, more kitchen scraps. But if all that fails, the secret weapon is just an all-purpose garden fertilizer. Remember those fertilizers are used to make our lawns green? It's the nitrogen. Well, adding some fertilizer to your compost bin will mimic the greens and pick up the process. Let's say we've got other problems. You go out there and it's got a rotten, foul, kind of ammonia odor. That usually means we put in too many greens. Most likely cause we put in a lot of fresh grass clippings or manure. So the way to help that is to add more browns and also turn the pile. That does two things. One, that lets more air in to dry out the excess moisture in the grass clippings. And the browns also help counterbalance too many greens. Another problem you may have, we want all the good beneficial microorganisms to come, but unfortunately, we may also get some raccoons, some possums, maybe some mice looking for a warm place to spend the winter. That's in some ways just kind of part of the beast with a compost pile. If you're putting a lot of food scraps into your bin that may be drying, the possums, the skunks, the raccoons, one of the tricks here is to bury that material. So kind of take your shovel out there, part the compost pile, put it more down into the center of the pile so they have a harder time to get at it. Another thing you can do to keep wildlife out of the bin is to cover it. If you follow these tips for troubleshooting problems with the compost bin, you're on your way to success and once again taking that debris and turning it into black gold. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.